Real quick video here, just want to share some things uh, we're working on. Uh, every Thursday morning, I have a, a meeting called uh, Portfolio Services Well Hunters Team. And uh, it's kind of a cheesy name, but it's kind of funny because uh, we it's a group of our elite agents around the country that are really focusing in the single family rental space, focusing on um, finding maybe for some of the buyers that I have some some builders maybe buying finding some other type of buyers working investors but really being the experts in their markets and it's really exciting to have this group we've got we had 24 people on the call today from all of our markets and you know one of the big things we we're talking about was how things are kind of changing in front of our, our faces here as as uh, you know pre-covid we had a lot of funds and investors which I call which I would like to say were swimming in yield so they had all kinds of different asset classes, lots of diversification. We're doing really great. Well, a lot of those things have been compressed, and I don't mean just compressed a little bit. Um, whether they're in Class C, multifamily, in retail, and office, all those asset classes is, have, have been getting, you know, parts of them have been getting crushed. I hear about some people that are still doing well in luxury uh, multifamily and things like that, but that's great. So what we've seen is a lot of people moving to single family rentals, and we've seen an influx of 1031 exchange buyers. So the subject of this video is to talk about um, that you there is still investment classes that you can investments that you can invest into in real estate such as industrial such as self storage and more importantly single family rentals and we're seeing an influx of 1031 exchange money coming chasing um, a yield that might seem low to a fund but it's high for a guy coming out of New York paying a three cap on an apartment building and they're willing to pay a five on a fifty million dollar um, portfolio of homes in Phoenix, for example, that we're selling, or going into the California market and getting a six cap on luxury rentals. There's all kinds of opportunities out there, and it's this time um, of COVID and, and all this disruption is when true disruption happens in innovation in the real estate markets and in these industries, and I think we're seeing it now. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Thanks for watching.